Tribute to Design. Since Skylab Architecture's founding in 1999, this honoree and his team have been turning heads both here in Portland and beyond. Responsible for some of the most iconic Portland landmarks in the city, such as Departure Lounge, perched atop Macy's, to the new urban rustic chic Doug Fur Lounge, and their HOMB prefab residential construction. Skylab Architecture's work is both dazzling and intelligent. Currently on the boards is a 21-story wedge-shaped apartment tower poised to shape the east end of the Burnside Bridge. Our honoree is a hands-on architect and has been described as being able to see what is happening, anticipate issues, and find resolutions. The firm's architectural excellence ranges from residential to commercial, and every project Skylab Architecture creates unveils a narrative of place and being. Introducing Jeff Covell, founder of Skylab Architecture. From an early age, you know, from when I was like seven or eight years old, I just felt was in love with architecture and, uh, you know, got on a fairly quick path to um, pursuing it as a career. Went to Cornell for architecture school and migrated to Colorado and then Portland uh, immediately after. I mean, I think architecture has the potential to really heighten your experience and you know, whether that's an urban experience or a natural experience, a you know, communal experience or a more meditative one, um, you know, I think it's a, it's a really powerful form because it, it, it helps you interpret between you know, yourself and the landscape. I think our work focuses on kind of building narratives, whether it's a retail project or a building or somebody's home. Uh, our work always starts with research and um, inspiration and really trying to build a story, you know, one that's authentic to the project and hopefully um, unique. You know, it started with a project called 1680 Residence, which uh, was a spec home that um, I designed and constructed and um, uh, was the, also the developer of. That project sort of set us on this track of, I guess you could call it the entrepreneurial kind of spirit. We, we went from there and did Doug Fur. We also did the 12th and Alder building, which is the Gruner restaurant now, um, and also where, where I live. Those three projects, I think, were, were really significant for us because they were accelerated kind of how we interacted with the city of Portland. They're not huge projects, but they were impactful for what they were. I think as the designer, um, you know, what, what you want to do is try to bring fresh eyes to whatever your subject matter is. And I think, uh, you know, our, our firm philosophy is, is uh, probably very rooted in that approach. Um, I think Doug Fur is a really good example of somebody coming in and being playful with the iconography of the region. Well, so much of Jeff's work is really, uh, you know, and has been in residential architecture and you know, tr trade shows for Nike and things like that. I mean, Doug Fur is probably the most visible thing that he's done. And that set, you know, a really, you know, sort of different standard for what a club, uh, you know, could be. I mean, from, you know, the, you know, the great acoustics of the room there, to the bar, to taking a kind of northwesty hippie aesthetic and giving it, you know, a sense of really high style. And to this day, nobody has really equaled that. I think our most significant project to date is the Columbia Building for the Bureau of Environmental Services. That was really uh, the first time that we were able to uh, work in a way where we, we were working with landscape architecture, working with uh, commercial construction techniques, bringing interior design, uh, educational components, you know, storytelling, sustainability into focus. So it was really for us, you know, the first truly integrated project that, that we've been able to execute. And we're now working on things that are moving into construction that are, are that and more. Um, and, and, and so, you know, it's really exciting um, just to be in a position where, you know, you feel like you've got a, a foundation there, but you're 
being given opportunities to really expand that vision you know, to a larger scale. Really, you know, Jeff's best work, I think, is to come. I mean, uh, the project on, on uh, Burnside Block 67, you know, is going to be a game changer for this city. I mean, it's bringing an entirely different idea of what architecture and what urban design, uh, you know, can be. I think the most exciting part of what we do is the, uh, th that we really get to make a difference in, in people's lives. You know, I think there's this, this potential to exponentially impact kind of scale. Um, you know, we're working on a building now that has um, between two and 3,000 employees working in it. And you think about well, how many people are going to be in that building for, uh, you know, in the next 50 years, right? And what, a, what an amazing um, gift to be able to sort of in, influence that many people's experiences in, in, on, on the planet. The 2014 A Tribute to Design on a Reef for Architecture is Skylab.